Welcome and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Caitlin Sisney with your hedge fund headlines. Today is Tuesday, June 24th, 2008. ING Investment Management India has introduced what claims to be India's first Latin America equity fund, India Infoline News Service reports. The open-ended fund of funds scheme geared to Indian investors opened on June 19th and will be closed to investors by July 10th. The scheme will invest mainly in the firm's existing Luxembourg domicile fund and will aim for long-term growth among the fastest-growing economies in the emerging market sector. This will lead to investments in companies that are either based in Latin America or do gain most of their business revenue from Latin American economies. Lehman Brothers Holdings has invested in former trader Rick Ryder's new hedge fund, R3 Capital Partners, and sold roughly $5 billion of assets, Bloomberg reports. Ryder worked at Lehman for 21 years, most recently as head of the Global Principal Strategies Group. Ryder said he bought 75% of the assets for his fund from Lehman, with a mix of corporate bonds and loans with some distressed debt and aviation stakes. Ryder will, said the fund will seek out uh, more acquire of the kind. Lehman CEO Richard Fuld decided to unload assets and raise capital from external investors to trim reliance on debt after the firm's shares plummeted more than 60 percent about possible losses. Founder of the Children's Investment Fund, Chris Hahn, gave 324 million pounds to his charitable foundation last year, the Financial Times reports. Hahn donated the money together with other partners at the hedge fund to the Children's Investment Fund Foundation, a linked charity run by Hahn's wife. The donation follows several bumper years for the aggressive hedge fund, currently fighting high-profile battles with companies in the U.S. and Japan, which have evoked national security in an effort to push back TCI. Kaysnav will launch UK Absolute Target, its UK Absolute Return Fund, for Tim Russell in July, but has delayed the European equivalent for Chris Rice, Investment Week reports. The long-awaited fund is an open-ended replica of Russell's hedge fund, and the group claims it is the first pure absolute return offering in the market as opposed to Cash Plus. Head of UK Advisory Sales at Kaysnav said demand for Rice's European hedge fund has caused his European Absolute Target fund to be delayed indefinitely. Target returns on the UK vehicle is 10% per year after fee and Russell will use his business cycle process to select stocks as on his UK growth and income long only fund. And that rounds out today's hedge fund headlines. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click on our hedge funds channel online and read the latest developments.